Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. My name is Rabbit Luigi. In the last episode we talked to Impa about what we need to do in this world and she told us to go fight some or find some uh, ancient beasts and get them on our side because they're actually on Ganon's side. It's a bit confusing. We actually have a way of finding that out now. Um, not through here. I'll find it later. Also got a horse. Horse kind of went over the side and into some into a river, but it's back. It's not. It was blue beforehand. It's called Jackass. It's a little confusing. It's okay if you don't understand it. I've noticed Beetle. Hello, Beetle. Hey, I don't believe I made your acquaintance. Uh, no, but I know your acquaintance. M the name's Beetle, but you can uh, but you can call me. Actually, let's just stick with Beetle. Uh, but even if you get my face, you can remember me with my beetle-shaped backpack. So it is. I like how we can move while talking to people. I That's very much appreciated. Uh, despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. I stock many special bugs and must have items for travelers. Uh, and I'm always, and I always charge a fair price. Or my name's not Beetle. I also buy all sorts of things if you're in need of rupees, gemstones in particular, uh, fetch a high price. How can I help you today? I would just, you're amazing. I'd like to know what you have to sell. Honestly? Not anything I don't already have, uh, other than a hot-footed frog, which I can't fucking catch, because it just disappears. Every time I try and catch it, it disappears. It's very tragic. But it's good to know you're here. Um, wonderful. I'm very glad to see you, Beetle. You're a, you're a face I recognize. We're going to do a couple of things this episode, but I first... This guy wanted to give me a quest, like a, a red thing. Who wanted to give me a... It had like a red exclamation mark. Who was that, and where did they go? I should have done it when I had the chance. For some reason, it's not here anymore, but... There was like a quest. Anyone in here has got a quest? Everyone in here has got a quest instead. We'll do this instead. Uh, I've got a, uh, I've got a scoop on Miss Ghost Treasure and it's great. Listen up, Dak. What a oh. name Dak is. Prison. Hang on. Prison? That's okay. Your eyes are terrifying. Hey, buddy, what's your problem? You aren't, you aren't being incredibly rude and listening to our conversation, are you? Uh, we're treasure hunters on the trail of our greatest score. Latest score. It's basically the same thing. Uh, the treasure of the great bandit Misko is it's as good as ours. Prison, you're going to give it all away. Okay, I'm very confused. Uh, sorry, Dak, I got carried away. Uh, anyway, we're busy here, dude. If you if you need something, take it up with someone else. Curious. Didn't get a quest out of that, but I'm I'm curious nonetheless. I'm here because I would like to uh, get to this shrine. I know how to get to this shrine. I could have gotten to the shrine after the uh, the end of the last episode, but um, or you know, I was trying to get my horse back, so I was in this general area, and I was up here because my only fast travel is is this shrine here which you know I'd like a, a, a slightly closer fast travel I guess is that I, I complain that I couldn't really get in it's very easy to get in you just gotta use kind of not really lateral thinking it's just not immediately obvious thinking I'm trying to give myself more credit than I deserve and honestly it's not that difficult all you gotta do is just go in here from air and it's very simple. Press a button and stop myself before I die and have a horrible time. Haven't done a shrine in a very long time. Everything rhymes in this episode. It's like a fucking Dr. Seuss book thing. I don't really know. Shrines. More shrines. Haven't done a shrine in a very long time. Already said that. Stop saying it. I, it's, it, it's, it made so much sense in my brain when I did it the first time. I had to do it the second time as well. I was gonna, you know, I'm, I was gonna be done with recording Zelda today. My phone is out of battery, but I don't know. I'm on a roll. I, I really like this game. I, it's a very easy game to play. It's a very easy game to digest because there feels like there's a constant feedback on what you're doing and getting the um, the weapons so uh, often means that you feel like you're you're constantly finding new things and experimenting with experimenting with new things. Didn't even read his name. The Water Guides. Hardahama. These names, I like them. So this looks immediately like a a cryonis uh, trial of some sort. So like aim on the foot and we do it. Is it going to be moved by the water? No, it's not. That's interesting. Now what? Oh, hang on. Oh no. Oh, I love it. That's clever. I like it. So, we jump and hang. Where's my button? There's my button. So, we want to do like a, uh, a run and jump and hang. And then a run and jump and hang. Oh, we love it. I, Clever. Clever in a certain way. You know this is going to be used later in some capacity. How are we going to do this? Uh, that's a fine question. Someone had to ask it. And I'm glad it was... I'm glad it was you, audience member. Huh. Uh, maybe... Can we there? We can do more than one? Okay. Is there no limit to how many we can do? Interesting question. Okay. So, if we can do that, then we can smash this, put one there, and then put one, like, there? How many can we do? 
three seems to be the magic number. Interesting. Um, that's interesting. That's not very helpful. Uh, let's hang on. Let's smash that. Put it right, really close, like there. There you go. One right there. Now they form together to make one seamless uh, wall for us to climb. And then we're basically there. I We're learning things. We now know that we can use the cryonis room up to- Oh, 50 rupees! Oh, my penis is massive right now! Um, we now know the cryonis room can be used up to three times. That's important information. Do want to go over there right now. Also, interesting idea. Are we now combining runes? Because I would like that. I would like for... I like the idea of combining runes to make an interesting puzzle landscape thing. What the hell is mo this thing above me? Not so sure. So we need to change that. Oh, I s Oh, no. Oh, yes. Maybe not there, but... Like, there? This seems like fun. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then we put another one, like... Mm, there. Kind- no, not there. <laughs> it doesn't work anymore. Like, there. Oh, physics puzzles. Nintendo have been learning from, like, indie puzzle games. Okay. Then we need, like, another one, like, there. Maybe. Learning as we go. It was, like, learning time with- with Rabbit Luigi playing Breath of the Wild. Yeah, get in the hole. In the hole. It's on the lip. Get in the hole. Yeah. Yes. I feel so proud of my achievements today. It paused. That's very classic Zelda. The pause and the showing you where which door is open. <clears throat> I appreciate it greatly. Now then, are we done? We could be. That seemed like a very, very substantial end puzzle kind of thing. You also look completely different to some of the more recent monks we have seen in this game in shrines. You have my, you have piqued my interest because you can't even see your face now. You look a bit like some of the people in the in uh, Kakarika village, so yeah, skip it. I I, I know what he's gonna say. Spirit Orb, very pleased. I'm pleased to have just got onto that shrine, so that tells you my expectations for the episode we're going to be experiencing today. I have no timer. I have no idea what we've, uh, how long we've been going on for. I'd say maybe like six or seven minutes sounds about right. My phone is hmm, basically dead. Can't rely on it. I'll meet you where we were last episode, I think. Oh, now he wants to give me a quest. What was the difference there? They're wild, so till you calm them, it's gonna be one crazy ride, but there's no feeling quite like taming a wild stallion. Indeed. Trust me, I took t second place in the Hyrule Horse Taming Competition. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Bizarre, but interesting. Mm. Anyway. Hey, I saw the look he gave me. What? Fine! You don't believe me? Let's go, pal. You and me right now. Right, right here, right now. You want to challenge the second place Hyrule Horse Taming Competition winner to a tame-off? You got it, mister! Fine. That's a spirit. The only rule is that you must bring a w wild horse back to this spot within the time limit. Oh, fucking hell. They're over there. You gotta- I'm gonna do it in a time limit? I can do it, but quite slowly. This area is chock full of wild horses. Any one of them will do. What's the time limit? My record is two minutes flat, so you need to bring a wild horse back within that time. Oh. Prepare for extreme tr taming! Oh, fuck. Right. <laughs> oh no, maybe should have got my, uh, maybe should have picked my horse and picked it up doing that. That's okay. Two minutes? Piece of cake. Piece of, like, really tasty cake. Where even are they? How far away are they? I, think I can't even see them. Are oh, they over there? We can do this. Of course we can do this. How close do I have to get? Then maybe we go down, like, like, now? Okay. There's an element of sneaky sneak to this. Sneaky sneak is my it's my prerogative. It's my lifelong goal to be sneaky sneak man and catch capture horses and tame them so I can win the affection of some random guy who holds my other horse. Mount the horse! I have mounted the horse! Yes! It's mine now. <laughs> Didn't even take me a minute to do that. Now I'm just gonna get back inside a minute, and you know what? We can do that. What well, shall I name this one? I don't know. I didn't think we'd have more than one. It looks good though. Getting horses of different colours. I appreciate it. If I was- I, I want to do the thing where you can jump off and use an arrow. And it does like a slow-mo thing. I'd like to do that. Not while we're doing the, the- the- the quest of some regard, but... You know, maybe we're gonna- we're gonna get some kind of- No. Gonna get some- Oh, there we go. Amazing! But I can't believe you beat my two-minute record so easily. I mean, I won second place in the Hyrule Horse Taming Competition, to be fair. It was just my brother and I competing- Oh, that's sad. That is sad! Anyway, here's your prize for winning the second official horse- Hyrule Horse Taming Competition. You earned it. Oh, money is everywhere now! 
Oh, I like it. I guess there's more competition out there than I than I knew about. Maybe Harwood isn't isn't all bad after all. Oh god. So I'm gonna give you this horse, then we're gonna move on. Are you another ninja? I'll fight you. The traces of an ancient battle linger. Countless precious lives have been lost been lost here. You are not a ninja. Well, the good news is that we're basically back where we were at the end of last episode, where everything went horrendously wrong at the same time. Uh, bad news, it's getting dark. It's it's now nine o'clock at night, and enemies are gonna start cropping up more frequently, left, right, and center. I would like to get to some kind of civilization before it gets too dark. We're just gonna ride cliffs, so okay, that's fine, that's fine. Your, your donkey's gonna have a hard time against all these enemies over there, so good luck with that. It is nice from a control standpoint, a is make horse go faster, but ZL plus A is how you actually talk to people, because, you know, previously in Zelda games there was a problem where mapping the same kind of, uh, the important button presses to the same buttons was a, a bad idea. Don't fall into the river again. Hateno Village, a question riding course. I'd like civilization before I, uh, go show off how amazing I am with my horse, because let's be honest, we're not that amazing. Have kind of not killed it. We kind of did kill it, but sort of um, not for the benefit of the video game. Like, the video game said we didn't, so technically we didn't. Oh, god, enemies. That's fine. I'm gonna defend my horse if it fucking kills me. What did I name the other one? Well, that'll be- I'd, I'd love to tell you, but that'll be telling. Hylian Rice. Uh, did I just say it can be used in, res um, in risotto? Because <laughs> I can play- I can- I can make risotto in my new Zelda game. If I can do that, well, game of the year. I mean, fucking hell. Probably probably actually is, but it's only March. It's like all these uh, publications that say, you know, there's a movie coming out. It's film of the year. It's it's January. Uh, you, you know it's January? Okay. Um, I don't really get how something, you can claim that something is film or game or, you know, fucking stage show of the year or whatever when it's so early in the year. You don't know what's coming up later. Something could blow it out the fucking sky. So this game is very good. Haven't played all the way to the end, of course, but is 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 made a good first impression in these first like nine episodes or whatever. I don't know how many I've done at this stage. They all just I wouldn't say they blur together, but the actual recording of it just like I'll just record more. I'll just keep going. Hello, person. I'm just I don't really care. I just want to get to a village of some regard where there's not people gonna kill me. I'd like a I'd like a fast travel point if anything, because they seem very, very valuable to me. Can I actually while we're here, can I fast travel to Kakarika Village? I cannot. That's curious. So there's another incentive to go hunting in shrines or go into shrines and do things. Are there people fighting each other? I shall save whoever's over there. I am the noble hero of 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 legend. Who is being hurt over there? I will fight I will fight you! Who did you hurt? A fairy? If only I had bottles! Why do I not have bottles? Oh, that's a shame. Are you are you alive, sir? Or madam? Mm, maybe not. I will leave. I will leave. It is They're alive! <laughs> it was not my fault! Oh, I'm so pleased. Are you alive? Are you going to sue? Don't sue them. I never saw them coming. This is exactly why I didn't want to go truffle hunting. Lousy gnat. It was my sister's hairbrained idea to hunt for truffles here that got us into this mess. You mean there are truffles around? Is my is my takeaway from that. You have a sister called Nat, but Truffles! Truffles, you can cook truffles. Zelda game of cooking, I would like to cook. I would like to make a truffle risotto. Is that such a, a, an ask? No Zelda game before or since has been able- has, hasn't been any since, but no no Zelda game before has let me made, make a truffle risotto. I would like to do that at some point. You can't just tell me that- okay, controlling the horse is mildly difficult. I, I'm not- I'm no threat. Hello? You seem a little on edge. I'll have a chat with you. Who, who, who are you? I demand answers. If you're up this late, you're probably up to no good. I'm a traveler. I'm a gypsy. Probably. Huh? You suddenly do appear to be a Hylian like the rest of us. Hylians are generally good folks, so sorry for getting all worked up. You're free to go. You're just- you're, we're just a waypoint on your winding road, huh? Ah, the life of a traveler. Well, you can get most things you need at the general store and the inn is just back there. That's lovely. You say it's a waypoint. I don't think it is a waypoint. I think it's just a- a random fucking... nothing. Doesn't give me a waypoint. I'd like to- oh, is that Hateno Village? I'd like to- I'd like to find the tower. There's a there's a shrine, so that gives me a waypoint immediately. I may do that, basically immediately, because I'd like to. Look at all these. Look at all. This seems like a much more interesting village than Kakarika Village all of a sudden, because not everyone around me is like, oh, it's the hero man. 
people are a bit more wary about me. They're, they're, they're reacting in a way that villagers probably would do. Not a chance. Miaham Agana Shrine. That might be okay. Don't really know how long we've been going on for. That says about 19 minutes. We've cut some bits out, so maybe by like 15 minutes or something. We'll, we'll keep going for a little while. If we can talk to somebody important over here, then maybe we can call it an episode and say that we've done enough progress to consider it an episode. I don't really know. I've got time. My phone has 2% battery. <laughs> I mean, I could try and use it as my timer, but it'll drain even faster and I haven't- the charge is not here. Why am I making excuses? Not important! Let's do a shrine. I'd like to do a shrine. We've already done a shrine. Some people have said that these get a little bit- not shit, but not as good as before. Like they're not as- the, the quality isn't as consistent as perhaps you would hope. Uh, skip. Skip. I've- I've heard the- I've done the spiel. Mia Aganam. Agana Shrine. That's fine. Can't really do anything over there. This is interesting. Okay. What does this do? I'm gonna- Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh. I mean, fine. This is definitely- there might be dungeons in this game, I'm not sure, but like, we have these ideas of puzzles, we'd like to use them. Oh, yes. Gyroscopic controls, doing something which gyroscopic controls are actually quite good at, and that is tilting puzzles. It does take a, a degree of concentration, but not that much. It's only a tilting puzzle! No! No! No, it happened again! Oh, wow. Stop the momentum, stop the momentum! What is flat to you? Oh, that's not flat. Ah, ah, there we go. We've gone past all of the dangerous things. Can we ram into this chest? No, we can't. So now it should be a fairly straight path, although not really, because we've got to get it up, up and over this little ledge at the end, and if we fail to do that, it might be quite angry. I want to do like a sort of, uh, alley up, son! Ah, uh, whoop! Whoa, that was a save! With the save in this weird tilty puzzle thing! Okay, okay, keep it level. No, got to get it back on the plane. We'll keep it level. This is a lot harder than it looks. The controls are quite precise in a way, which just makes it harder because you can't cheese it, but oh, okay, try number three with doing the end bit. We want to do like, and then a flick. Where did that go? Oh, it's not straight! Give it a bit more welly over that side. So we want to go like, and then give it a, f oh, if hit the side, hit the side! Mmm. Hi there, I'm cheating. I'm cheating. Whoa, I'm cheating so effectively. That was insane. So now we don't have to do that again. Just do this and a bit of effectiveness. Yeah, no. Yeah, I like cheating. This works really well. Wow, okay. <laughs> I feel almost a little bad about that, but you know, if it's not going to give me an easy solution, I'll give it a different solution. Yeah, baby. Okay. A little more over this side, I feel. A little flick. Oh, it's still not enough! Oh, there we go! Can we go out of this now? Can we leave? Oh, that was incredibly hard. That was a lot harder than you might have thought by looking at it. I don't know how long we've been going on for now. I might just keep going until we get some kind of interesting story beat going here. Oh, that was very interesting. That was a very kinetic bit of puzzling there. Very- no, it's the kind of thing. The controls are precise, which made it hard, because... Oh, hang on. <laughs> Let me fix that. The controls were precise, the gyroscopic controls, uh, which just meant that you couldn't uh, really exploit flaws with the... You, or rather, you couldn't blame the bad controls. The controls were uh, good enough with how you moved around. The f oh, the Phrenic Bow, the Phrenic Bow Sheikah Tribe, kind of interesting. The controls were good, so you couldn't exactly blame the controls for not working. How do we get back? Fine question. Uh, we can make that, can't we? <laughs> Fine question. Probably not, but I'm a hero, I shall try. There we go, fine. Um, <laughs> we now have four spirit orbs when we actually talk to the guy. Maybe we can find a goddess statue around Hateno village and give myself some kind of upgrade and maybe not dying to everything in two hits. It would be nice. I'd also like to talk to somebody about my, my weird tablet thing which doesn't work. Or we could wait for the next episode on that, I'm not sure. Not 100% sure how long we've been going on for now. Skip everybody because you say the exact same things. You look slightly different in slight variations on the same pose. Really? And the same attire, but it doesn't matter. 
Kronos is... There's so many things to be told about. We now have a fast travel point in Heteno Village. I did hear beeping on my shrine sensor thing for my uh, when we were in ha uh, Kakariko Village. So there is one there, but I couldn't really find or see it. It didn't leap out at me, so... Um, that's kind of a problem, because we have no fast travel point there. And it's not so bad, it's not too far away. It will be a bigger problem if this place didn't have one, because I feel like Heteno Village is further away from our uh, nearest fast travel point, excluding the one we've just gotten. Is there a goddess statue around? Can we use it right now? I don't know, we'll just like, leap and go. There's a lot of, a lot of shops around here. Where was the general store? What is the symbol for the general store? I'd like to sell some things. Maybe this one? What's this? This is some kind of... It's a vase. General goods. Are you awake? Can I sell you my bountiful goodies? Hello. Hello, sir. Oh, a customer! I didn't even hear you come in. Sorry about that. You should have, like, a bell. Most shops do. So you, you know a customer's coming. I trust everything is as I left it. Uh, yeah, probably. Can you kind of buy something? Alrighty! Uh, so what can I do for you? I would like to buy some things. I want to see what a general store sells in this game. Sorry. Nothing happened. Uh... I'll walk right up to it and select it. I see. So you have all this shit. Which is, uh, not really. Is that an egg? These are eggs. Eggs, bird eggs. Hylian rice. Uh, Endura shrooms. Kind of interesting. Hearty truffle! That's what they were after before. And fresh milk. I'll come back to the milk because I heard the milk is good for something. These are bomb arrows, bomb arrows, and arrows. I appreciate your general store. I'll have to give it a pass for now. I'm still looking for a goddess statue of some sort. I'd like to pray to the goddess so I can get my bountiful rewards of some kind. There's a ton of clothes shops as well. You know I can't afford anything to wear. I have my I have my bandana, which is really the pinnacle of my, my fashion sense. What are they growing here? Nothing we can harvest. That's okay. What's that? Is that a lantern? That's a funky looking lantern. I'd like to take some apples for no apparent reason. Might be useful. I'm keeping a lookout. We should probably get near. I want to. I don't want to sort of spend too much. If we go into another cutscene, when we. Oh, excuse me. If we go into another cutscene about all the, you know, Sheikah Slate and like eight minutes of backstory, that's a concern. How far away is what I actually need? You know what? I'm going to go to Kakariko Village. What the hell is that? I have to ask. Hello. You're a Korok. Shakalaka! Indeed! <laughs> you! You can see me? I can see you. Oh, Shalazar Shalaka. I'm not doing a high voice, my, my throat hurts. It's been a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm Hestu and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. What is this game right now? It's okay, it's, 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 it's perfectly natural. I think they're still there on the other side of those rocks. Okay, I was gonna go- you like like broccoli. I can't- I can't use my powers without them, Shoko. So please. Please get my maracas back for me. I think that was maracas, or it was like markers. Markers is something else. I'm gonna fight you. I will fight in your honor! Tescu, Chescu. What, what was his name? Oh, I can't even remember his name. Uhun Mushakala, or Shakalakala. Boom Shakalaka. I don't know. I don't really care. I have all. Okay, he's got ranged weapons. That's fair. Or not really. Not really ranged weapons, but scary weapons, or weapons which are really good against the sword. Which is something which Fire Emblem taught me. Fire Emblem taught me many things. Also, everyone can be married to everybody. That's fine. Um, don't really care. Soul just claim more. If it goes down here, it goes down in a blaze of glory. Um, maybe not against this fucking piece of shit. Yeah, we go. How do you feel now? Try it. Fucking try it. You try it. Won't do any good for you. Wonderful. Where is this? Is it in there? It might be in there. I'd like to get to Kakariko Village. We've gone all over the place right now. Being distracted by all the wonders of uh, Breath of the Wild. I don't know. Not here. That's my point. I've lost my claymore. I mildly. I mild. Did I lose my claymore in the end? No. Uh, yes? Maybe. I should use a vicious sickle instead because that looks terrifying. Got it from the ninja lady not so long ago. Like two episodes ago? I can't remember. One episode ago? Everything blurs together in the best way. Hestu's Maracas. What did I call him? Like, Chest Chestu? Since he was two years old. How is he- uh, how old is he now? I don't know, but he seems like some kind of mythical Korok being. Therefore, I expect some kind of interesting reward. If he doesn't give me one, I shall push him off the cliff. I like to think I have those powers. 
You seem quite an important character in a way. Shakalaka! Oh, sh Shalakala! Those are, those are my maracas! Please give them to me! Only if you show me the money first, sir. Oh god, oh why, Shalaka! But wait! There's something wrong with my maracas. The Korok seeds inside. Oh no, I know what these are now. The Korok seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shoko? If I had just one Korok seed, I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. You see, I have the power of, of, of inventory expansion now, then. So let me know if you find some Korok seeds. I don't know what they are. Don't mind me, I'm just taking my horse for a walk. I'm looking for the Goddess Shrine so I can use it. I kind of want to see what a stamina gauge does, more than anything, it's kind of why I'm here. I could have- I could probably get a heart container. I can get a heart container! Would rather get a stamina gauge, just to see what it is. Stamina vessel. I'm curious. Expand my stamina wheel, so I have more stamina? This seems really good. I wouldn't say necessarily as good as a heart container, but stamina's like, for used for everything in this game, so... I feel like that we shouldn't- massively focus on heart containers. Look at that. Yeah. How does that work now? So, like, that gets used up first. I see. I would like to find- <laughs> Here's a problem. I want to win the episode off, but also I want to sort of look around for a- a shrine, because it's around here somewhere. I'll end the episode off, but next episode, we're gonna go after this shrine, because it's gonna be very useful. It's actually up there, so I'll go there right now, and then we'll end the episode off. This has been Rabbit Luigi. Uh, this has been Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the next episode, we are going to do some more things in, in Hateno Village. Um, we are also going to do this shrine thing. If I can climb up all- if I can climb up any kind of cliff which works. Here we go, I found a cliff that works. Yes, we're going to be doing this shrine. We're going to be going back to Hateno Village. Now we have a fast travel point there. We're gonna get one here. Right here. In the next episode. Look at that, so much stamina to spare. Getting the stamina vessel, really good idea. Uh, and we're gonna try and fix our, our Sheikah Slate by giving it an upgrade or something, I don't really know. It's kind of like funky technology, hard really to describe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.